What's good guys? So today's Friday. We don't get paid today, but it's Friday, so tomorrow's the weekend. There's a car show tomorrow hosted by Los Goonies, so I may be rolling out today. I'm not a hundred percent sure yet. So don't hold me for my word, but if I do, you'll definitely get it in the vlog. It's like raining right now. The S 2000s all rained on. So sad. But Gotta do what we gotta do. Let's get to work, man. Today I got my lunch, though. Today, though. Because they already knew what was up. Ever since I uh, changed the battery terminal, the idle has gone up. So, the idle problem is fixed. It was just that the, the, the voltage was very, very low. So, guys, you don't have to keep telling me. I know. I know. It's fixed. It's fixed. It's idle and perfect now. All right guys, so today I'm gonna to be talking about the five things every car guy should have in his car. All right, so number one, every car guy should at least carry a tool bag in the trunk of his car, because you never know what's gonna happen if you don't have your tool bag. For example, like the other day, when my terminal went bad, if I didn't have my 10 millimeter socket and wrench, I would have never been able to fix my car and it would have been sitting right here and I would either have to drive all the way home and drive all the way back just to go do this one little quick fix. Number two, every car guy should carry a bag of zip, zip ties, alright, because you never know, bumper might fall off, you know, something simple. This zip tie works wonders. Number three. This is like one of the main important things every car guy should at least carry in his car. And if you will do not have this in your car, you are losing out, guys. Always carry a car jack. The car jack always helps. It always comes in handy. I don't like to use the one that's stock and you have to spin it. I like to carry, I like these ones. A low profile jack just sits neatly in my trunk. No problems. Always have this. Do you not understand how many times I've blown a tire and I had to change it and I was able to do it under like two minutes because I have this car jack right here. Number four, most definitely you need the smell goods in your car, all right? You need that. Cause you don't wanna be picking up girls, right? And you smell like the fart you just had in your car 20 minutes ago cause you just had a sub sandwich or whatever. So when she comes to give you that hug, she's going to smell that body spray and you'll be like, mm, you smell so good, right? Then, when she opened the door, that coconut air breeze that comes through your car is going to smack her, right? So as soon as she get in your car, she's going to already be wet for you. You get what I'm saying? And number five, this is like a necessity. You don't really need it, but you should always keep in your car is a microfiber towel. Cause you never know, you might have to go to a car meet later or you know, some type of like little dope quick event that you might be running late to. Just wipe down your car, good to go, right? So these are like the five things that I always keep in my car. And it's taken me a long way, whether it's my jack stand, being able to help me two minute change a tire instead of having to sit there all day winding up the car just to get the car up in the air and then to pull off the wheels. Whether it's the zip ties because my bumper tab is broke and I don't want my bumper flapping in the wind so what I use is a zip tie to hold it together. Zip ties take you a very, very long way, okay? And then the tool bag with all my tools in it, you never know because your car might break down one day and you know most Hondas are like 10 millimeters so you always keep like an 8, 10 and a 12 millimeter socket in your bag because you never know if you'll run into problems. Like I said, when I had the problem with the terminal, if I didn't have my tool bag with me, I would have never been able to change it. So these are like most of the key things. And you know, obviously the air fresheners, you always want to just make sure your car's smelling good because you never know who you might run into, who you might pick up. You might have to spray yourself down real quick or you want your car to smell good. I mean, these are just the key things that I like 
most other other guys may have their own opinion so list your five top things that you have in your car and comment it below and let's keep the train going I want you guys to tell me what you keep in your car these are the five things I keep what are the five things you keep but yeah guys we're almost close to 2,000 subscribers man it's feeling good it's feeling great I'm loving it I'm loving the energy I'm loving that you guys are commenting you're killing the DMS right now um, I'm trying to get these graphics design of my car because I want to put it on the back of a t-shirt so I'm just waiting for the person to email me back when I do. I'm definitely going to put it out to the public. I'm also going to be opening back up my big cartel because I get a lot of you guys who say you don't have um, like Instagram and stuff like that. So it's just going to be easier for you guys to just put your credit card information in there and we'll go from there. Alright guys, so your boy's finally home. About to make this decal for somebody. Alright, he wanted it all white, 21 by 7. So let's get to cutting. What's good guys? So your boy is finally home. I just finished editing this video for you guys. I hope you guys enjoy my five things. Comment below your five things and let's keep the trend going. We're almost close to 2k subscribers. I'm actually going to be going to meet up with my boy tomorrow to go be picking up the merchandise that I'm going to be giving away for you guys. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I drop videos every single day. So come back, hit that notification bell, and rock with your boy. For less 2K gang, we out.